My name is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. Shoot them. An old friend who's informing on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, until you figure out who burned you, you're not going anywhere. There's a good reason covert operatives keep their work a secret from their families. Once your family knows what you do, you've got problems. Best case, you're scared. Worst case, they figure they can get into trouble and you'll get them out of it. Yeah. Mike, it's your brother. Listen, um, I, I'm out at Opalaka Airport and I got a situation. I need you to come out and meet me. I gotta go. Man, first you told me to leave and now you're gonna kill me. That doesn't even make sense. All right, I mean, it's gonna take you hours to deal with my body and then there's the cops. Come on, man. Oh! I'm back. I shoot you in the face. to get a job, so here, I'm working. Lying in a crumpled heap in an airport parking lot. How's that pack? Look, my buddy got into some trouble with some guys. He needed someone to talk to him. I said I'd do it for a grand. Some guys? What guys? Guys, I don't know. Look, I'm just trying to make a living. Besides, you have no business giving me crap, bro. You're driving around in my car. Your car? Yeah, I busted ass for an entire summer working on this car. Mom had no right to give it to you. She said that Dad wanted me to have it. Oh, okay. So you bailed and I take a double dose of Dad's crap for years and you get the car. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Nate, is this your way of asking me to help you with this job? Is that what this is? Like you read minds, bro. We work on this together. You clean up your act. If I don't help him with this job, he's gonna get himself killed. Oh, now he's decided that the car is his. I've never seen you this attached to anything, Michael. If my dad left me in this car, it was for a very good reason. I mean, he wasn't the sort of guy who would just leave me this because he was feeling generous. Yeah, well, I almost lost a finger putting in that air filter case. I don't think it did any favors. Yeah, well, that was more his style. Try it now. Ah, uh, check the ignition. <laughs> Got a bug in there. A bug? Look at the dash. It looks like Sam's work. See, you don't know it's Sam. I know Sam's style. 
I thought you had an arrangement. He tells the feds what you're up to, tells you what the feds are up to. I'll handle it. No, 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 no. I'd be happy to take care of it. There's nothing like a smashed kneecap. To remind Sam who his friends are. Don't say anything. I know it's there. They'll only hear what I want them to hear. It's better this way. Is that trade craft, Michael? Or just protecting your friend? It's both, Fee. I gotta get cleaned up. Can you put this back together? Go. Look, I'll I'll behave. Maybe. I've worked at airport security for a year. Uh, log planes in and out, deal with the cargo manifest. So there's this family, Lebanese, I think. There's a Mars. They're two brothers and a dad. They run some kind of import-export business. So the thing is, we became kind of friends. They gave me some stuff. Stuff? What kind of stuff? Basketball tickets. Some nice tequila. Blow me money a few times. My, my wife's pregnant. We're trying to get ready for the baby. It's been hard. I get it. You needed the money. Go on. But anyway, I, I did him some favors. You know, I changed arrival times on planes in the log. It's against the rules, but it, it seemed like little stuff. Then last week, they told me they wanted me to leave the flight off the log entirely. And that's serious. I, I didn't want to do it. And, and I remember, you know, Nate told me that you two had this kind of business helping people. Nate said we had a business together, the two of us, like a team. Yeah. Yeah, he, he said he was going to talk to the guys and get them off my back. I saw how well that went. They came to my house. They threatened me, threatened my wife. I, I said I was going to quit my job. They said they were going to hurt me if I did. But I just want to give the money back and walk away. Can you just talk to them? And... It's a little late for that, Vic. I know I screwed up, okay? I, I just don't want my family to pay for it. And, and my wife, she... I'm barely hanging on to her as it is, man. I don't know what else to do. Please. I'll look into it. Thanks. I told your friend I'd help him out. You happy? He should be, too. You're hustling. You work. Yeah, it's almost like we're a team. You want to get in the car? Hey, about the car, did Mom show you Dad's will? No. All I saw was an old pack of tools and an unfinished to-do list. Come on. You hated him. I put up with his crap. I rebuilt the car's engine. I'll give you the distributor cap if you agree we should find Dad's will. Deal? Mike, you've been doing some work on the charger? There's enough grease in here to lube a semi. You know, these pants are new. Yeah, Fee and I have been doing a little work on it. Exhaust, electrical. Yeah? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Just glitchy. Glitchy? Yeah. Well, glitchy's my specialty, Mike. Really? Your specialty? Yeah. I might take you up on that. Thanks, Sam. Here we go. I looked into these guys a little bit for you. That's Eli Zamari, who runs the company. Ari and Ilan are the sons. Eli's the one that beat up Nate. The name sounds Israeli, but Jake said they were Lebanese. Yeah, the business is registered there. They got an office here, and they got a hangar out at the airport. Now, this guy, Eli, Mike, I think he's had some training. Check this out. Every time he comes outside, he does a perimeter scan. See that? In gathering intel, little things can tell you a lot. A top flight alarm system. Well-placed cameras without blind spots. Paying attention to strangers in the area. 
Uh oh, time to go. Aggressive intelligence gathering is more delicate, but someone who knows what to look for can find out a lot. Hey, <laughs> is this hangar 12? What are you looking for? Hangar 12, I think. I met this guy at a club and he told me that he had a private plane and that he would take me up in it. And I, I get here and it's Nothing like a regular airport. Oh, no, this is a private airport. I mean, this is Hangar 12, but it's not your friend's Hangar 12. <laughs> what a jerk. What's the problem? No problem, relax. You have to leave. You guys working, huh? You know, before I go, do you guys have a, a bathroom? I mean, I drove all the way out here from South Beach, and it looks like I have to go all the way back. I'm sorry, <laughs> you have to leave. Hey. You're the uh, boss. <laughs> That's I, I was just looking for a bathroom. <laughs> no bathroom. Out. Okay. No. God, I just need to pee. If you know what to look for, a bunch of little things can tell you everything you need to know. Arms dealers. Great. Heavy stuff, too. The plane had new engines. Could probably carry a few 50 caliber machine guns, maybe even a small tank. Probably shipping off to some African war off limits to legit dealers. Wait, you're sure um, you saw guns? Didn't need to. I know a gun runner when I see one. They're my people. They ship in a special lubricant, and the whole hangar smells like it. Mm. There it is. No wonder I got my ass kicked. Oh, you were lucky. The old guy had a Desert Eagle 9mm with combat grips. Ex Mossad. What do you mean, like Israeli spies? Sure. Every other retired spook is an arms dealer. It's not a bad gig. You can stand the ex-spooks. You should probably call your client. So, so what do I do, huh? I mean, I never sell anything like that there. No, of course not. They're too smart to keep anything around that would get them busted. Listen, Jake, now that we know what we're dealing with, we can try to do something. You should call the police. I, mean, I know I'm gonna get busted. No, if you call the police, the only crimes they'll find are yours, and the Zamars will know you turned them. No, that's not good, Jake. Take a look at this. This is how your job opened up. The old security manager died in a car accident. All of his brakes just happened to fail at the same time. Jesus. I can't believe this. I went to a goddamn basketball game with these people. The seats weren't even that good. Well, next time you accept a bribe, I'd hold out for courtside seats. Jake, focus. We need to deal with the problem. I'm sorry, I don't. What do I do? Cooperate. We need to get them busted with the guns. And they need to go down in a way that's unrelated to you, so it looks like you had nothing to do with it. Get them busted with the guns. But where are the guns? That's what we're going to go find out. Mike, um, there's something I want to talk to you about. Yeah, Sam, what is it? Look, I, I know you've been pushing hard on this burn notice, trying to get yourself off the blacklist and all, and I understand that. But I'm getting a lot of pressure. Pressure? What kind of pressure? Well, you know, they... They want me to give them more. It's always more. But the thing is that... Yes, yeah, Sam? Oh, hey, here they go. We'll talk about this later.
One cheap and effective security measure is working in an area with low or no traffic. Anyone in a car is too obvious, so you force any would-be followers to get out and walk. They're in there somewhere. Oh, Mikey, come on. It's 10 square blocks. My cardiovascular fitness isn't what it used to be. You know, you never said we were going to be walking. Rest frequently, drink plenty of fluids, you'll be fine, Sam. Okay, where do I find fluids? Fighting is something you want to avoid. Once you fight someone, he knows your face. You kind of blow your cover when you hit a guy with a piece of rebar. But when you have no choice, rebar it is. Send that to China, you sons of bitches! Go ahead and offshore that! You know they used to have 30 union welders here? And a foreman! What are you doing? What the hell does it look like I had to do it, pal? I'm throwing crap at a warehouse! Oh, ho, ho. oh, you got a gun? What are you, some kind of security? Hey, go ahead, come on! Shoot me! I thank you for it! There's no jobs around here anyway! Uh, you want to shoot him? Shoot him. Let's go. Oh, you don't want to shoot him? So yeah, lovely. Huh? Yeah, batter up, huh? Oh, straight three! You're laid off! Yeah! They're careful. If we're going to get them caught on anything serious, it's going to take some more time. And then I want Melody out of here. I mean, this was my mistake. She shouldn't have to pay for it. And when the Zamars ask why your wife suddenly left town, what are you going to say? They came to see me yesterday. They got another shipment going out soon. They gave me more basketball tickets. They're expecting my answer today. What do I say? Well, since they're probably planning on killing you if you say anything else, I'd suggest yes. <laughs> Mike, I saved your ass at the warehouse. The least you could do is have some decent beer in the fridge. Next time you plan on saving my ass, tell me before I go to the store. We still have to find out where they keep their guns. I think you're gonna have to do the spy thing, Mike. Make a new friend. But I can't get an angle on this father. I mean, his security drill is airtight. What about the brothers? The older brother's the same. He goes to work, he goes home. There's no way in. Younger? I talked to him at the hangar. He's not so bright. I can check him out. Maybe you should bug his car. Yeah, maybe I should. I'll do the recon. I'll see you guys around. When you want to turn someone into an asset, get him to betray the people he loves, you have to get to know him. This wine is warm. This is very good wine. You're supposed to drink it a little warm. Well, I like it colder. Why do you spend $300 on a bottle of warm wine? Do you speak to your dad about that trip? Yes. He said not this year. 
I'm supposed to have a life if he barely lets you do anything. You need to know his frustration. Who's coming? You need to know how he spends his time and money. Polly, what he sucks. You need to understand his hopes and dreams. Okay, well, call me. Tonight we go to the club. We have a nice time and then we'll talk about work. Okay. And then we have to be home by two because you're a 30-year-old guy with a curfew. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Stop dumb. Oh. Sorry, I don't understand. Can you speak to me? Hey, Mikey. You read this guy's profile, you're gonna kiss me. I am not gonna kiss you, Sam. Look, I'm not saying I'm gonna like it. I'm just saying you're gonna kiss me. It is that good. All right. Let's make you into an arms dealer. C4 has a plastic sheen and a putty-like consistency. If you need to counterfeit it, the best thing I've found is cake icing, or fondant, as it is known in the baking trade. Hey, how's the rest of the cover ID? Pretty good. Got your fake Rolex. Better buddy who can rent us an Aston Martin. Pretty cheap. Here's your business card. Steve Remington, that's my name. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have some fun, Mike. Oh, uh, here we go. Got your list of Ari's favorite wines, his position in the family business, favorite clubs, even where he likes to vacation. Nice for him. Hey, are you done making the fake plastic explosive? Can I lick that? Knock yourself out. If you need a moldable explosive that makes a bang, Someone with Fiona's skills can make homemade C4 with spackle, petroleum jelly, and a bunch of other things I don't even want to know about. How's it coming, Fee? Dangerous. Unstable. Remind you of anyone? Pack it out, put a detonator on it, make it look pretty. We have to put our best foot forward. We'll wrap it in a bone. All right, I gotta go to my mom's place. Sam? Mike? Fee, be good. Hello, Michael. Mom? Nate, you find out, will you? No, not yet. I didn't know you were arrested so many times. You know that Dad kept notes? <laughs> not surprised. On um, paper, you're a bigger screw-up than me. You stole more cars by the time you were 12 than I did my entire life. Dad was never around. You ever wonder how we got to the store to get groceries when Dad was on a tear? And then, get some more files. Mom, I need to borrow Dad's cufflinks and a cigarette case. Nate is tearing up this house, trying to find your Dad's will. Is this going to be one more thing you two are going to fight about? I'll give him back in a few days. I, I just need it for the job, Mom. I'm so angry about the car. I mean, why is it so important? I think he just wants to know what it means, why Dad gave it to me. Because he loved you. He wanted you to have something to remember him by. Now, why is that so complicated? It's not complicated. It just doesn't sound like Dad. The 2003 Fisher Vineyards Coach Insignia by the glass. Not by the glass, by the bottle. What the hell? I'll take the whole bottle. OK. It's a good bottle. For $300, it better be a very good glass. You know you want A little. Thank you. you. Tried this? I'd love to. Glass, please. What's your name? Steve Remington. Steve. Oh, he's a mom. 
Mm. I love it. You want to join me? I have a table. Who are you with? With my girlfriend, Debbie. I don't want to... No, 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 please. Beautiful wine. You can come join us at the table. Come on. Another glass, please. Opa, let's go. Follow me. You ever meet someone and it just seems to click instantly? You like the same things, share the same opinions. It seems like you've known them all your life. It could be fake, or it could be that you have a listening device planted under the dashboard of your car. of Afghanistan and I don't speak a word of the dialect. Oh my God. I get all this training, I'm sent over there and I'm stuck with a bunch of guys from the wrong side of the country. I love it, I love it. Excuse me, excuse me. That's yeah, just my brother. So what'd you do? Well, I tried like hell to learn the language and I ate goat for a month. Oh my, I love it. <laughs> Afghanistan? Are you serious? It's crazy. Why were you over there? Business. Listen more. To Miami. To Miami. Where the beautiful women are allowed to go outside. You'd be surprised how often covert operatives pose as international men of mystery. Fantasies about glamorous covert ops can be extremely useful to exploit. Though some secret agent fantasies are more useful than others. Now that we know each other, I have a confession to make. It's not a coincidence that we met tonight. I want to talk to you about something. About work. Do import export. Furniture, regional food, import the cigarettes. All right, we're adults here. The fact is, people in my business know about your family's operations, and we respect it. I'm listening. We also know your father does not work with anyone outside of the family. Still, your name gets around. We also hear about your brother. He's a bit of a hard ass. Yeah, he's been calling me all night long. He's probably on his way over here right now. That's why I want to talk to you about an opportunity. What opportunity? Mind you, mind your own business. I don't want to cause problems if you're not allowed to talk about your family. Uh, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. Just that my father is a little, you know. Jesus. Your father again? I don't want to get in the middle of this. I just heard that you were the one in the family thinking big. God, it's my brother. you three, four times. I've been here. What, what do you want? Let's go. I'm having fun. <laughs> nice car. Uh, I'm a little tired of it, actually. I want to upgrade to the new model. Sorry about earlier. My uh, family's in the It comes with the territory. So, tell me about the deal. I was in town to do a deal with some plastique, good stuff, military grade, but the contact fell through. Anybody in the arms trade knows that the mark of a pro is the blow and burn. It's a detonator on whatever you're selling in case the deal goes bad. This is very high grade, 40% cheaper than what you can get commercially. With all the same kick, of course. I just need a distributor. You get the buyers, you can double your profits, all right? How do I know this is good? Oh, it's very good stuff. You want a little demonstration? Please.
we in business? So you're gonna go see your new girlfriend? Debbie? She's not coming, no. Which is good, because I think Ari is the jealous side. I can see why she likes you. You look like a secret agent. Listen, Fee. I just need Ari to show me where Daddy keeps his guns, we bring in the cops, everyone goes home happy, except Debbie. Well, maybe you shouldn't be so hasty. Imagine some South Beach model hanging on your every word. How many times she call you? Five. <laughs> maybe she wants Ari to do the deal. She wants to trade out. Admit it, you were tempted. Not for a minute, Faith. If I need a beautiful woman to mess up my life, I could do a lot better than Debbie. You should come to my place in France. They call it a chateau, but really it's just a big house. <laughs> so about this deal, I think we should start with something small. Okay. In addition to the seafood, I can get you military grade 50 caliber machine gun. 50 caliber will help and then we can go bigger i just need to see your operation all from right, there I can start operation no, i can't do that my father would kill me you're right. kidding me all right this is about trust i can't just give you a 50 caliber machine gun to sell without knowing what warehouse is going to what transport it's getting on all it's right impossible Forget it. I'm going on a little bit here. Right. You don't that's trust me. Bad. No, I get that. I understand and that's fine. It's just not how I do business. So, thank you for your time. I'll get the check. Yes. It's, 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 it's. I like you. I like you. Okay, meet me tomorrow night. We'll see. Okay, you happy? Very happy. I can do the deal, and then talk to Elon and Dan. You can make a lot of money. Just rush it. Okay, sounds like he's gonna go for it. Just goes to show you, a car is a bad place to have a conversation. Mike, you know I was gonna tell you. What's that, sir? Come on, don't treat me like I'm stupid. The bug in your car. I thought we had a deal, Sam. Mike, we do. I, I help you out. I tell you what I know, but they, they know you got something. And you know they wanted me to bust into your place and search it? I told them I wouldn't do it, so they made me plant a bug and said if I told you, they'd be all over us. So at least I tried to make it obvious. I mean, I practically signed my name on the goddamn thing. All of that you did, Sam. Mikey, I'm with you, but this FBI crap, I'm grinding my teeth at night. It's bad for my blood pressure. So break into my place. Yeah? Search it. These FBI guys don't know anything. Might get the attention of someone useful. I gotta go. Jake's meeting with the Zamars tonight, so you should have a couple of hours. I would search in the kitchen area. Cabinets? Sink. Fine. Under. Don't break anything. All right, then. So, tomorrow, we do this, huh? We talk to the... The customs people, yes? Yeah. Is there a problem? N no, it's no problem. I, you I need just... some uh, motivation, huh? You know? Huh? Ah! No, no, I'm just saying, I'm sick and tired of waiting. I have to be somewhere and this. Get up. Yeah. Get up.
never answer my calls. Where's Ari? He's coming. He's getting bitched out by his dad or something. I wanted to talk to you alone. How long are you in town? Aren't you and Ari engaged? Whatever. Whatever. Come on. Can you have a little fun? You've been around the world, but you never talk about a girlfriend. I want to see your gun. Okay, that's not my gun. Not my gun. Debbie! Now I know your secret, you son of a bitch. Get in there. Get in there. All right, calm down. I don't know what you think you know. You lied to me. Dealing with a blown cover is about stalling for time. Stay alive long enough to figure out what they know and tell a bigger lie to save yourself. You lied to me since day one. What is this secret you're talking about? You want a Debbie, huh? You want a Debbie from the beginning. Debbie, that's what you thought. <laughs> I saw you. You were watching me the whole time, were you? You sent her over to test me. You wanted to see how I handled the pressure. Oh, that's good. Oh, you are good. <laughs> so, what? Did I pass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 your father trained you well, Ari. Yeah. So I see the operation. Uh, yeah, okay. Riding in a car with a blindfold on takes getting used to. The good news is that the driver's busy making sure you can't see anything. He's not paying attention to whether he's being followed. I take it to see the warehouse, but if you screw me... Why would I want to screw you? I've got merchandise to sell, you've got buyers. It's that simple. I just want to know what I'm getting into. Okay. Okay, security is there tight. The warehouse is not connecting to us. We keep the uh, weapons there till we sheep. The cops come, they can't arrest anybody. A dead drop. So what if someone tries to steal your merchandise? Nobody knows where it is. Just the family. Out. There. Now you see the operation. Not bad. On the warehouse front, what about security? We have no problems with cops. We have cops on the payroll. They let us know if there's a problem. Great. M1A, 308. Nicely balanced. Special forces. Airport security. We have a guy. Reliable? Yeah. If not, we, uh, how do they say? Uh, we liquidate an FNP-90 with halo siren. State of the art. Very nice. Looks like you have things wired here. So, are we gonna do some business? After we sent out this shipment, we make a deal, you and I, we put it together, and I take the deal to my father. Trust me. You're doing him a favor. Shall we? You want me to talk to them again? They'll kill me. 
You see what they did? I thought the plan was to find the guns and call the cops. That plan won't work anymore. They've got cops on the payroll, Jake. If you want to get out of this, it's your best chance. For your family. What do I do? I think it's about time the Zamar family learned about Ari's new friend. Any good operative is going to be a bit of a control freak. Above all, they don't want to hear that the people they think they own really belong to someone who can destroy them. Look, he said I would help you. I gotta help your friends now? I can't do this if... What are you talking about? What friend? Steve something. He said he worked with Ari. He checked out the logs, had me show him the airport. He said I belong to him now. What, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I belong to him? He had my social security number, my passport information. He had all kinds of stuff about you guys, too. Pictures. What are you talking about? I don't know what's happening to me. I want my life back. Give me my life back. Shut up! Shut up! Hey. Who is this person? Who is he? I don't know. Okay, that's what I'm saying. He, he said he was friends with Ari. I don't know anything. Get out. Get out. Get out! I... What did you do? I told you never to talk to anyone. No, no. This is my deal. I did this on my own. A deal? Who asked you to do this deal? Who is this friend? Huh? What? What? He has documents about us. Pictures. At the club, he came to me. What does he know? Did you tell him anything? Did you show him anything? I showed him the warehouse. I showed him anything. But, but it's okay. He was blindfolded. He just wanted to see the operation and... Elon, yeah. go to the warehouse. Now! Come, you fool! Come Okay, we had a trunk full of seafood. Someone is there. It's all gone. Everything. There's nothing worse for anyone who spent time in intelligence work than being up against a ghost. getting ready to bust you. Could be a foreign agent setting you up in some deep spy game. Your only option is to disappear. Steve Remington, he said he was special forces. Try again, he could be using another name. Nefari, let's go. Get 
As long as they think Steve Remington owns you, you're safe. As far as they know, there's a mystery man out there who can destroy them and you're his property. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not here fishing for thanks. You need to understand the situation. Eli will have his ear to the ground forever. If word gets out, he got conned. You're dead. You guys look so serious. It's not that hard, man. I mean, secrets are what keep a family strong, right? Something like that. I mean, look, I'm just glad that you guys are finally happy. I gotta tell you, though, when I busted into Mike's place, I didn't know if I was gonna find anything, and then I find this document here in a hidey hole under the sink. I don't know. Maybe he's as bad as you guys say. We sent this up the ladder, Sam. This document's classified. Weston shouldn't have had this. They're looking for leaks. Well, that's nice, but the point here, fellas, is I brought home the bacon. Okay, you got prime goods on my buddy Mike right there. We're off the case, Sam. This thing's serious enough, Washington's sending someone else down. Weston's someone else's problem now. Yeah? New surveillance? What, what department? Don't know, don't care. Enjoy your lunch, Sam. See you around. Yeah. Huh. Thanks, fellas. I'm gonna miss you guys, you know. <laughs> Mike. Hey, Sam. Yeah, good news and bad news. Uh, good news is your FBI tail got pulled. Bad news is they're sending someone new down. Sounds heavy. Thanks, Sam. Who's the new surveillance? Hell if I know. Oh, uh, there's more good news. They were so eager to get rid of you, they dropped 320s on a 10 buck tab. Lucky you. All right, check you later. Hi there. My friends just abandoned me. Any chance I could get you to keep me company? Maybe. I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Veronica. What are we drinking? I knew it was going to be in there. Well, she said it was in here. Of course she, well, it's not. I love So you stop arguing now. Uh, it doesn't mention the car in the will. I know. You know? I wanted Michael to know that his father remembered him in the end, and Nate, you spent more time with him. You lied. Yeah. Makes sense. You know what, Nate? Fine. I'll flip you for it. All right. Heads. Yeah. You know what? You want a fair and square, bro. Now you see, Michael, you're too hard on me. I mean, he could be so sweet. I just... I know. I know. You just don't know all of it. Nate! 